whoa, 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 whoa. Before you watch the video, before, before you even watch anything, before you do anything, before you even breathe, I'd ask to please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, let me know what other videos or what other things you want me to do. Uh, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Patreon, and my Cash App are down below in the description. My YouTube channel, the link is down below in the description. My recommended videos, you know what I'm saying? Videos that I recommend you watch, you know what I'm saying? Of mine, you know, videos of mine that I recommend you watch are down below in the description you know what I'm saying and I also have recommended videos up there on that I button or up there I don't know where it's at but it's up there somewhere that I button up there somewhere you know what I'm saying is other recommended videos and um ladies and gentlemen that is all I have for you for this intro that's all I have for you let's get to the video man let's get it what is up ladies and gentlemen it is your boy Joe welcome back to the channel um today's video we got uh, the most dangerous jobs in the world um Jesus any any idea on what job it is that's what I'm thinking because I saw this and I was like I want to react to it and so hmm what job could be possibly that dangerous? So dangerous? Hmm. I don't know. Probably, so, probably like a some kind of a some kind of plant job, or like a warehouse job where you're dealing with heavy machinery. I think. I think. I, I, <coughs> I don't know if it's down that road, but it might be. I don't know. But we're gonna check out the most dangerous job in the world by the channel Trend Cent Central. Um, and another thing, if if this job, the most dangerous job in the world, this job, to in this video, I I hope it tells us how much money this job is getting paid. It better be getting paid loads of money loads of money I'm talking about enough money to do anything you want in the world if it's that if that job is that dangerous I want I want to get paid for if I were to ever like you know get a job like that the most dangerous job in the world I would love or somebody would love to get paid a lot of money to be in the most dangerous job in the world but but we are going to check the video out before we get into the video I make sure make sure that you like the video subscribe to the channel uh, comment on the video let me know what other videos you want me to do and let's get into the video you know what I'm saying but not all jobs are created equal hold on hold, hold up <laughs> Everyone needs a job to survive, but not all jobs are created equal. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I just messed up my myself. Okay, um, in editing. All right, for real this time. Everyone needs a job to survive, but not all jobs are created equal. On one hand, you have the safety and comfort of an office. On the other hand, there are some jobs where a bad day at the office means you don't come home in one piece, or at all. Jobs so risky that employers have to pump salaries up to ridiculous levels to entice anyone brave enough to turn up to work. Want to find out the jobs where a paper cut is the least of your worries? Let's get it on. Jeez. Smoke jumper. Smoke jumpers Smoke? are the elite when it comes to firefighting. They're like the special forces going behind enemy lines and deep into hostile territory. Wilderness bushfires don't have the luxury of sealed roads and hydrants in the street to tap into for an endless supply of water. Remote locations are too treacherous to get to in any form of vehicle, let alone a fire engine. This is where smoke jumpers come in. These guys are the bravest of the brave who approach the out of control blaze in the wilderness by helicopter, then decided it's a great idea to jump out and parachute. 
parachute right into the heart of the beast. Getting to the fire before it becomes wow. dangerous to people in homes means that firefighting supplies, food, and water are dropped in to enable the smoke jumpers to set up temporary camps and spend the next 48 hours all alone to manage the inferno. Skyscraper window wow. washer. A window washer doesn't seem like a dangerous job at first. A ladder, a hose, and a squeegee with yeah. a long pole is yeah, always a regular building. percent of the time. For the other 1%, you need an expert. As society feels the need to build larger and larger buildings and skyscrapers, a niche is formed for those who want to take Oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. First of all, I, for doing it. I already have a high... Uh, uh, I am already... I uh, have a fear of heights. So, if you get this job, just make sure... You, you do not need to have a fear of heights, okay? Do not have a fear of heights if you want to be this. Specialist window washers only deal in towers and skyscrapers. Having to hang hundreds of feet in the air just so you can have an uninterrupted, smudge-free view out your office window. They ascend huge skyscrapers, head out onto the roof, and sailed down the side of the building. Oh, Harnesses, shit. ropes, helmets, and purpose-built platforms are needed to keep them safe while they struggle to stay attached while strong winds push them from side to side. Oh, hell no. Linemen. Hell well, no. No! Familiar to you, linemen are actually some of the most important people in your day-to-day -day life. As a matter of fact, you couldn't be watching this video right now if it weren't for your local linemen. Yeah, linemen. Men and women work to make sure that electricity continues flowing all over the grid and are first on the scene when service is somehow interrupted, like when a tree falls on a power line. As yeah. crazy as it sounds, they have to yeah. actually fix the live wires by hand, with not much more than some insulated rubber gloves between them and 1.21 gigavolts straight to the heart. For decades, Jeez. has consistently ranked as one of the top 10 deadliest jobs in the U.S., and it's not hard to see why. Electricity is nothing to play around with. One wrong move, and it's lights out. Thankfully, wow. these courageous workers are compensated for And they, and they well, just, just touching the electric lines. Year, plus some serious Ooh. benefit packages. Still, no amount of money is worth your life, so you've really got to have nerves of steel to take on being a lineman. One wrong move, and Joe's body gets zapped with 230,000 volts. Icefall doctors. Fuck. Icefall doctors haven't been to metal. Jeez. Wow. I mean that that lineman is a very important job, but like, 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 touch it and you dead. You like, ah! You dead, bro. You dead. One wrong move and you're done. You're done for. School, but they are still responsible for saving hundreds of lives each year in the Kumbu Icefall on Mount Everest. They're native Sherpas who are at the top of their game. Men who know the summit back to front and inside out. They're tasked with carving out routes between base camp and camps one through four much higher up towards the peak. Kumbu Icefall is regarded as the most treacherous and unsafe section on the whole expedition, as the ice could crack and break at any time, causing climbers to fall to their deaths. The ice has less chance to break at night when the temperature is much colder, so the Sherpas carry equipment through the section at 2 a.m. in the morning to prep the upper camps ahead of the rest of the party. The Icefall doctors spend up to 75 days a year in this frozen, snowy nightmare. Jesus. Lumberjack. And that don't lumberjack look... That little ladder does not look like a, a correct bridge, if you know what I'm saying, bro. That does not look like it would be safe so to... So much more across. than wearing red checkered shirts, sporting luscious beards, and downing short stacks dripping with maple syrup. The reality is that this is America's most dangerous job. More people die every year cutting down trees than any other profession. Jeez, really? ...need to maintain ultimate concentration as a falling tree in the wrong direction could end up making them as flat as the pancakes they hold so dear. Cables holding trunks and branches are prone to suddenly snapping, sending chunks of trees spiraling out of control, impaling those souls unfortunate enough to be standing nearby. Having the blades of a chainsaw get stuck into a tree can cause the equipment to kick the lumberjack around so fiercely that they slam into the tree hard enough to cause serious career-ending spinal injuries. Take on this career if you dare. Entomologist. Entomologists love to study bugs. And oh, hell no. Okay, first of all, wow, I, I didn't realize cutting trees would be dangerous, but as he explained, it did, wow, didn't know cutting trees would be that dangerous, I mean, I mean, you'd be dealing with saws, I mean, that, those aren't very safe things to deal with anyways, and, you know, stuff like that, and then, you, you know, you're cutting it, and, you know, the tree goes wherever the hell it goes, and yes wow but 
the one we're about to go into, anthem, I don't know what it's called, the anthemologist dealing with insects. Yeah, hell no, I'm not doing this job either. When you think about it, they're the true unsung heroes of the working class. Most of us get the heebie-jeebies at the thought of having anything oh, small God. with too many legs touching our skin. Oh. These guys are prepared to have insects crawl all over them in the name of research and science. Oh, okay. But the average Joe doesn't have to. Some have been stung more than 1,000 times over the course of their careers, creating a pain scale that ranges from mildly annoying to so excruciatingly painful that you lose the ability to function and think rationally and even pass out. We salute any brave soul who chooses to get covered in a suit of swarming bees and venomated as their life's work. Oh, God. Lives on the line so that we don't have to. Product tester. Anyone who tests new products aimed at preventing someone from dying or essentially putting their own lives in someone else's hands. It takes a special kind of nuts oh. to walk through a field of live landmines and explosives in a bomb-proof suit just to see if it will work. Having an attacker armed with a knife try to bury it deep into your chest through a stab-proof vest would be absolutely unnerving and fatal if something goes horribly wrong. Bridges are meant to be made of timber, steel, concrete, or a combination of all three. You generally want to use materials that are robust enough to take a enormous weight and be stable as they span long distances. Glass isn't a material that comes to mind when you hear the word bridge, and the guys that test these architectural masterpieces dance with the devil every step onto virgin glazed panels. Oh, God. Why? I mean, I know why, but gee, Life oh, guard. Lord. They watch fed us a lie growing up, protecting the beach more than chiseled abs, skimpy bikinis, and slow motion action shots of beauties running along the sand. The lifeguards in charge of the Seven Mile Miracle <laughs> on Oahu's North Shore in Hawaii know all too well they dance with the devil when they venture out into what is the most dangerous series of surf breaks in the world. From an outsider's perspective, the deep azure blue ocean, white sand, and picturesque barrels look like an absolute paradise. The reality is that over 1,000 rescues are performed here each year year sometimes Jeez. more than 30 in a day these lifeguards put their life on the line every time they head out to save anyone unlucky enough to get into trouble here strong huge waves and shallow coral regularly cause serious injury and death damn they rescue up to a thousand people a year well that's in one place I'm pretty sure Myrtle Beach is a whole different thing, or I could be wrong, so I, I don't know, but that's just one place in Hawaii. Producer of power by harnessing nature's atmospheric fury. Like any machinery, these turbines can sometimes break down. They require a specially trained technician to get them back to working order. Repairing the blades and motor require a unique combination of construction experience, rock climbing, and engineering know-how. Climbing up to the top of 350-foot-high turbines requires nerves of steel, a high oh, level wow. of physical fitness, and being able to feel completely at home at some seriously high altitudes. The job is made that much harder by the fact that these areas experience high winds and lightning strikes. Straddling a blade during a repair is exactly like trying to keep yeah. a hold of a fucking bull. I don't like lightning, so don't hold on tight end up falling. This is off. not for me! Gardener. At first glance, there seems to be very little in the app. Gardener? This better be some type of gardener in like Australia or like some special place because a gardener garden that could be labeled as even remotely dangerous. That is, unless your name is Dean Smith and you work at the infamous Poison Garden in sunny old England. The heavy wrought iron See, gates serve say. as a warning and are designed to keep people out. Why? Well, every plant here is harmful to humans. Anything from causing you to break out in a rash, get itchy all over, have you running to find the nearest toilet, and in a few cases, you could potentially wind up dead. There are over 100 species in this collection, and despite some being truly beautiful, don't be fooled. They contain powerful toxins fatal to humans. Gardeners here warn you to not stop and smell the flowers. Even professionals don't dare venture too close without protective gloves and a mask. It's phototoxic, so it will burn your skin and give you blisters for up to seven years. What is that? Uh, wait. Rewind that back. He just said... One of the plants will give you, will make your skin burn for up to seven years. Yo, there is so much shit in this world that we don't know about, bro. We think we know it all, but we, for real though, we there are some things in this world we don't know about. Like the ocean, we don't, like, I think... 30% of the ocean, like, like, or like, uh, like, like, 
30% of the ocean is discoverable and the rest is not discovered. So, yeah, man. This was, that was a very um, informative video, man. Um, the most dangerous job, I should, it, I should say jobs in the world. And to be honest, I will do none of those jobs because I value my life, my living life more than any other goddamn job in the world even though they probably get paid crazy amounts of money but that was the most dangerous jobs in the world and um thank you for watching the video thank you for watching the video with me thank you for reacting to the video um all i'm gonna say is that make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and comment on the video let me know what other videos you want me to do um recommend me some music videos that you want me to recommend to do you know react to you know and um all i'm gonna say is thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next video peace wait 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 okay before you leave this video before you even leave this video and go to another YouTuber or before you go to somebody else, before you do anything, before you breathe, before you leave this video, I'd ask that you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, you know what I'm saying, comment down below and tell me any other videos or things you want me to do. Um, my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, my Patreon, and my Cash App are all down below in the description. My YouTube channel is down below in, in the description. My recommended videos I recommend you watch of me is down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? And up there on that i button is also recommended videos. You know what I'm saying? So, please... Do all of that before you leave and I thank you so much you know what I'm saying thank you so much for watching the video uh, thank you so much uh, if you watch the whole video I appreciate you so much thank you for watching the video thank you so much and uh, let's get them subscribers up man let's get the subscriber count up to a million you know what I'm saying I, I, I have a dream and a goal to get to a million two million whatever million you know what I'm saying you know help me on my journey to get them subscriber counts up you know what I'm saying and um, ladies and gentlemen I will see you in the next video peace see you later